On Saturdays during this month of prayer, we're praying for all who are grieving, all who are suffering, all with mental health uh, challenges. And um, this Saturday, I want to share with you a, a short reading from the most well-thumbed book on my bookshelves other than the Bible. Uh, this is a copy of the Revelations of Divine Love by Julian of Norwich that I was given, oh, at least 40 years ago. And although I've got other copies of it, there's something about this battered and dog-eared copy that I keep turning back to. And Julian's, I mean, she's a great person to read at any time, but particularly this year because she lived through um, the Black Death, you know, one of the great pandemics that, that killed so many people in Europe. And then when she was thought close to death herself, when the priest came to give her the last rites and held a crucifix before her face, uh, she had these, what she called showings, um, but we know as revelations, revelations of the love of God. She didn't die. Um, uh, she, she, she became well again and wrote these showings down and they give me great, great comfort um, when I'm facing hardship, suffering, uh, when life is difficult. And I just want to read you a few words from the 10th revelation of divine love, which is when in her prayer and in her revelation, uh, she sees Jesus on the cross and she sees his heart broken in two. And this is what she writes. He showed me his blessed heart riven in two. And in his sweet enjoyment, he helped me to understand, in part at any rate, how the blessed Godhead was moving the poor soul to appreciate the eternal love of God that has neither beginning nor end. At the same time, our good Lord said most blessedly, see how I have loved you. And I find that image so profoundly beautiful um, that God opens his heart to us in Jesus on the cross and in his heart there is a place for us. So let us pray. Let us pray that we can bring our, so, our souls, ourselves, our burdens to the heart of Jesus. Amen.